Hello and welcome to Lord Fit Gaming Plays Days Gone. I'm your host Lord Fett. In today's Days Gone video, we are doing how many bodies have it your way, a surprise story mission, plus a Nero injector in this video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more uh, Days Gone content like this. So let's get the ball going on this uh, mission. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Two dogs back. What? Where? Where the hell is he? He took off when he saw me. Jeremy followed him. I, I know. I tried to stop him. Jesus, where, Ricky? Jeremy tracked him to the old sawmill, said two dog looked like he was holed up in the abandoned Nero camp. Okay, I'll take care of him. I need you to bring back his knife. <laughs> Wait, you need proof? Jesus. <sighs> All, fine, great, whatever you say. Don't let him get away, Deke. Who knows how many bodies are buried out there? Yeah, I got this. Now, here's the good news and bad news. Good news is we're hunting down another fool. Bad news is it's near the sawmill horde. <laughs> yes, that's the same horde that you saw a few times in this region here. Yes, this is the same uh, horde from the E3 uh, presentation. So now I'm going to go over here and uh, get us going. Looks like I am going to go alone on this one. <laughs> Um, during the course of this uh, mission right here, I will attempt to get the Nero Injector. Yes, I'll definitely get the Nero Injector, I'll say. The Nero Injectors you should always want to get. Gives you either uh, focus, stamina in case you want to run, or more health. So now I'm trying to keep on riding. Alright, 10 points! Yes! So, as I'm getting more points on my uh, driver's license, I'm going to keep on going over here. Now you need to be careful because the sawmill horde at this point in the game where your character is built, you're not strong enough. You should probably have the uh, best machine gun in the game in order to actually take it out effectively. So now I'm across this bridge right here and once I do, I'm going to try to do is find a way to park my bike somewhere very uh, quietly and do not wake up the uh, horde while doing this uh, story mission. I'm at the sawmill. Going after him. Be careful, Deacon. Remember, there's... There's a big fucking horde here? Yeah, I remember. Thanks, Deacon out. All right, two dog. Where you hiding? <laughs> Another mobile medical unit. I gotta find a way inside. See if there's a... See if there's another injector. Alright, so I am gonna track down two dog. Yes, that's right, two dog, not three dog. Alright, that's a reference from uh, Fallout 3, but still. We're gonna track down two dog and kill him. We have no choice, but this is gonna be a fun mission. Real fun. So I'm gonna go over here and look at the body. All right, why well, am I uh, tracking uh, two dog down so I could kill him? I'm gonna grab some materials. Why would two dog hide here? The sawmill horde is serious business, folks. That is right, some serious business, and it's dangerous. Here's the, there he is. Two dog, you got nowhere to run, brother. All right, there's some more clues, more rags I need. All right, I don't need that yet. That's good. I can't remember all this stuff when I uh, do uh, come back here later on, if I do, if not. Oh, well, hopefully there's a post game I grab all this material so I can use it to hunt down the uh, horde. Then again, I'll probably be super effective now once I uh, max out my level in this game. Yes, folks, most Sony games, you'll uh, max out your uh, level and you become super effective. See the Spider-Man game. And there's a speaker right here. Take out the squawk boxes, folks, because if you don't, we turn on the power. You'll have to deal with uh, whatever um, you just draw attention to, including the sawmill horde. So I'm going to go over here and just see what's going on. Alright, Clue said he's over here, so I might as well uh, investigate that first. Alright, free beer bottle and med kit, that's good. And up ahead, let me see here. Oh my god, I think he's going to die! <laughs>
Wow, what a dummy. First of all, he let the uh, stragglers from the uh, sawmill horde to get him. And second of all, this is going to be very easy. Plus, I had to take out the stragglers. Yes, folks, always use the silencer weapon. If not, he will attract some unwanted attention. That's right, some serious unwanted attention. That's not good at all. So we're inclined like he did before he uh, got mauled by the horde. <laughs> or I should say stragglers from the horde. Still, it's all good and fun. So now I'm going to loot up the... Uh, item from him. There we go. Guess you won't be turning in any more human ears and bounties. Alright, so proof is there. That is good. So now I gotta be careful of the radar. A lot of those uh, swarmers means a lot of the horde. That's not good. We're going to go get the Nero Injector, so I'm going to try to take out all the Squawk Boxes. Yes, folks, I'm going to take out every single one of them. Uh, now, I had some issues with it, to be honest with you all, because I was taking too much time. I wasn't immediately uh, turning on the power, turning off the power. You want to do that so you could uh, guess where the uh, Squawk Boxes are at. So let's uh, do a little flash fast forward. Alright, so I'm at night now. You can obviously notice there are one, two, three, four squat boxes. It took me a while to memorize them, so I will definitely need to take them out. Now, that's the uh, bad news. Now, the another bad news is uh, now I've tracked some unwanted intention. Now, the uh, sawmill horde is at night uh, roaming around looking for their victims to add to their horde pile. So, yeah, I'm going to try to do is memorize where to take them out as much as we can. Yes, folks, I am adding a Nero Ejector in this video because I feel like it's way too important. And there's a Squawk Box right there taken out. So, yep, there you go. Another one down. That's it right there. Yes. So about three more, and that should do it right there. But still, you always want to get those Nero Ejectors. That building is always great. That's what I always say anyways. So now I'm just going to keep on moving uh, forward and check what's going on. Well, that screamer brought down the uh, pain on us, but oh well, I took care of her right there, so that's good. Yes, because I turned on the power, she came in uh, looking for uh, dinner. Unfortunately, her and her friends went down. Alright, there's another one up ahead. And yes, I didn't have to use uh, Lucy uh, to take her out. Instead, it shot her in the head and I was uh, calling it a day. So now let me uh, do a memorization of, of uh, where the uh, squawk boxes are at. Okay, I turn on the power. There's one left, so I definitely nailed three out of four. So I'm going to try to get over there. Now, that's the bad news is I just uh, attracted more attention. So that means you get to see more uh, freakers get killed in this video. So if you all are in for that, well, guess what? I'm giving everybody a treat of that today. If you don't want to see me kill him, well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to memorize all these positions here and uh, get rid of the alarms. Yeah, the alarms are always bad. There's one right. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, I do not have the uh, heavy uh, stealth takedown in this game yet. Yeah, that's in the melee tree, folks, but still, I do not have that yet. 
So I just need to be extra careful or if I have to do uh, combat, well, guess what? I have to do combat. It looks like I might have to do combat anyways to uh, clear the area out. So wish me luck. Alright, at the time of this recording, I forgot to take out the Squawk Pox. I was too busy killing things in this game. Happens sometimes. And I just tracked another uh, bruiser. Oops. Alright, I took out the squat box and everything should be quiet now. Hopefully the sawmill horde has not returned yet. If they did, then I am in gigantic trouble. Yes, folks. Okay, there is a straggler. Yeah, let me run from him. See if I could get him lost. Or not. Okay, I think I lo lose him. Good. Whew. Not a move to fight another single one yet. So, now I'm going to hit this button one more time and should do it right there. All right, hitting this button. Let's see if I do anything. And blammo. And no, I just turned it off. Oops. Okay, I better take him out with my knife. All right, he is uh, sliced to pieces. And slice him again. Cut him up like Freddy Cougar does with his claws at this point. Yeah, those are bleachers. They're uh, stronger versions of the uh, swarmers. Just remember them without the shot. So let's try this once again. Well, Bleacher brought a friend, another one of those. Let's hit the button. That should do it right there. Lights are on. Nothing is squawking. And I think it's in this building here. I'm just going to educate a guest right here at this point. All right, there you go. Some rags. That's good. Let's check out what else is there. All right, some free medicine. That's great right there. Sterilizer. Nothing in this building, I don't think. All right, there's kerosene. That's weird. In a narrow uh, facility. It's kerosene. Yeah, that is weird. I guess uh, if they turn, they burn them up. Well, they do that in a lot in uh, those zombie shows. Someone gets bitten. Well, guess what? They just might as well burn the body. That's what we say anyways. Burn the body. So I'm going to check over here again. And it was right here by the door. <laughs> okay, I messed up on that. So now let's go get some free uh, drugs. I mean, uh, Nero Injector. And I'm going to upgrade my stamina so this way I could uh, run some more. Old Sawmill Nero Injector complete. Iron Mike Camp Trust has increased it. That's another one right there. Done. 
and more stamina so I can run more often. Yes! So now I'm going to get back to my bike and get the fudge out of here. Yeah, I have a feeling daytime is coming soon. And I do not want to be here when the uh, sawmill uh, horde arrives. I am ill-prepared and I am way too weak for this. I mean way too weak. And there's that bruiser I left out. So I'm going to try to just get to my bike. If not, well, you're going to see me fire another one off. I think everything is down. That's good right there. Whew. Definitely about to get some more medical supplies when I uh, get back to the camp. Still, my bike should be all right. I should turn this in, and that's it right there. Now, it's daytime. Um, when daytime happens, the uh, Freakers will go back in their uh, sleeping positions, or if they're in a cave, they'll go into a cave. Nighttime, they roam around. Now, personally, I rarely find them at night for one reason and one reason only is because at night they'll roam around if you're high near a bush if you're uh, quick enough or you know what to do you could take out a horde without being seen yes I did that a few times and it's thrilling and it's exciting to me so now I'm just gonna keep on riding a bit further get to uh, where I need to be and hopefully that is it right there still this is a great mission so far I personally love it damn it runners I took out some runners which are uh, infected wolves. Yes, even the wildlife in this game does get infected. And they become vicious, just trust me. I do not want to see infected puppies or infected kittens. That will be terrible and sad at the same time. Still, we're going to return this to uh, Ricky and finish this mission right here once and for all. Here's his knife. Thank God. When Joe Haslam found out he came back, he was terrified. Oh, I am so relieved. Yeah, okay. See you, Ricky. How many bodies has been officially done and complete? That's it right there. Yes, we are officially finished. We're more of a bounty hunter now. That's great. So now I'm just going to do is quickly uh, get going, just resupply up and do whatever I need to do. Then I'll uh, be back after. All right, I'm back, so I'm going to do this uh, quick uh, cutscene uh, mission, which is for credits, trust, and experience points. So this is going to be really easy. Addy. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he okay? He's, yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. All right, I am finished, done, and complete. 
so something to heal his soul is now officially done and complete so now I'm done with that now there's gonna be another uh, story mission to uh, do afterwards which is good right here see how see better to light one candle I'm gonna do that later on though I'm not gonna do that now but first I am going to get everything done and repaired up before I do anything else so let's do that now I am officially on a story mission have it your way alright 10 points still I'm on the story mission have it your way this one was actually uh, fun to do really fun I loved it yeah I won't spoil the surprise really but still this one was a very touchy feely if you like that alright another 10 points right there still we are gonna do it so I'm gonna do is uh, get close by and then see what's uh, going on first of all I know Matt's how long you been up here huh setting up ambushes hit supply runs everything all right so I have to look for a certain uh, objective I'm not gonna say what I did pass a marauders camp I'm gonna do it off uh, recording so this is why I won't waste everybody's time on it I killed a few already now if there's any uh, bolt recipes I'll uh, quickly clear it out then show everybody where uh, that is at exactly in a future video or two so this way you get your uh, bolts for the uh, trophy slash achievement and look like I think I got spotted so I'm going to try to take them out ASAP so wish me uh, luck Still, I am not going to spoil the surprise on uh, what will be going down, but I love this mission though. It's really good though. I really loved it. I can't get in this way, so I have to get in the house somehow. So let me see if I can try to get in. Yeah, so, uh, the objective I'm not going to mention, but still, I'm just going to try to do it. Alright, I can't get in that way. Let me see if I try to get up the roof. Nope. Let me try over here. All right, some free uh, herbs, that's good. Let me try this once again over here. All right, let me look around and one more time. Okay, I think I can get up through here, yep. And there's a window, yes, now I'm officially inside the house, yes. And I am full on pipes though, to make uh, future pipe bombs. All right, that's rags right there, that's good. Okay, that is locked, so no uh, chance right there. And I think I spot the key. Uh, all right, bandages. I thought it was a key, but no, I'll take that. Been using a lot of bandages from the last mission, so you know what? Might as well get everything I need. All right, there's another clue right there. Yeah. All right, so we have found ourselves another clue. So we just follow the footsteps right here, and that's it. Many footsteps, actually. All right, there's a room right there. That's good. All right, there's a clue. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. All right, there you go. Uh, got what I need. So now I just need to do is uh, find the uh, mission objective. So that's good right there. So, all right, it's right over there. So that's pretty easy. Real easy. All right, let's see if I can jimmy this lock now. So you know, I can bust it open from the inside and uh, go back outside and uh, get what we need. We already got the item for the uh, quest so far. 
and now what we're gonna do is go over there and uh, use it now this part is pretty cool so what I'm gonna do is uh, get to over here wait for a little bit and then I'll uh, start up right now so I'll be back after hey buddy hello how's it going pal come here hey buddy hello come here buddy hi hello all right come here, come here. Oh, okay 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 oh my god all right all right all right it's fine have it your way okay Hey. Huh, what? Wake up, Ooh. you lazy bastard. What's going on, man? What the hell's this? Shit. Oh, shit. Hey. Hey, how you doing, little guy? Hey, oh, easy, easy. Hey, 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 hold on. Hold on, huh? Where'd you come from? Don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you look a little thirsty. Let's, uh, let's get you some water. How's that sound? Now, that story mission has been complete. Have it your way. We got ourselves a puppy. Yes, that's right, folks. A puppy. And Boozer has one now, so he has to take care of it. So I wish him luck. Now, I am going to do one more uh, story mission. This one was really good, too. And well worth it. Hold on. I'll get it. Got what you need? Yeah, everything I could think of. Let's go. Well, uh, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg and... That's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here. Shit. Swarmers. I was hoping it was going to be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? Now, here's the last uh, story mission I decided to say, better to light one candle. This was another uh, great surprise, too. So basically, we have a puppy. Now we get to do something else much, much cooler. So let's do it. Okay, I think that's all of them. All right, I get to clear out some uh, freakers, which is really good, really good. So, plus we have Ricky with us. That's the best uh, NPC in the game. She can fight, so we gotta get her up there. So, when we do that, I have to hold off some uh, freakers. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! 
If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Oh. Got him! God damn it. Oh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. All right, I did a good job of holding him off. So in the next part is is uh, we just gotta follow Ricky, and that's about it right there. So basically, we gotta return to our bike. So now uh, we uh, got what we need to do. So which is good right there, really good. So the next part is we're gonna ride with uh, Ricky, then uh, speak with her, and afterwards, y'all gonna see a nice surprise in this video, courtesy of me. So your old lady. Okay, how the hell did? It's not hard to put two and two together, Deke. How you lost her at that refugee camp. Uh, the one north of Belknap. And in the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air, and you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look, it's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. Okay. Gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now, the past few months have been tough. Not going to deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters right in the camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight, is proof of what I've been saying all along. Yeah. We yeah. need everyone. I mean everyone. 
who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. She can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is gonna happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. Yeah. Dumb question. I'm I'm sorry, Deke. No, don't be. She's uh she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. Okay. Addie? Addie? Hey, the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip, strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean. Aha, uh -huh. that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just, huh? Shh. Hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh... Remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh... I'm not sure that, uh... Well, I hear that Addie doesn't really like, um... people messing around in her business. Yeah, I... I heard that, too. What about this one? <sighs> I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie, and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Now, we finished the uh, last mission, and then this mission, Out of the Darkness, and now Iron Mike's camp has electricity, yes! We have power. Woohoo! That's good right there. 
That was the surprise I wanted to show everybody. That was a great moment in this game, actually. It was heartwarming. It was awesome. So this video had two heartwarming uh, cutscenes in the game. One was uh, getting the puppy, and the other one was getting power for Iron Mike's camp. Well, that's it for my uh, Days Gone video. This is Lord Fitton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, everyone.